Time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. Welcome back, Al. We missed you last week. What's the big story in the forecast that we've got going? Well, Troy, it has been a very dry period over the last couple of weeks. Temperatures have been a little bit more brutal, and of course, it slowed down some of the planting, but we're still way ahead of normal. And compared to last year, we're almost double on our soybeans ahead of normal, and in terms of corn, well over 70% complete. And that's a big jump from last year's 43%, 60% average. So overall, what is it going to look like for weather going forward? Well, let's go take a look at the weather maps. Today's upper air pattern features a small upper air low over the northern plains and a large trough entering the western United States with some ridging occurring across the southeastern United States. Low pressure sets up over northwestern portions of Missouri and down in deep southwestern Texas. It's going to allow a little bit of moisture to feed northward, generating showers and thunderstorm activity during the day hours, gradually easing as we go through the overnight hours as that low bend to head to the southeast from the northern plains into the Ohio River Valley. That'll promote some clearing skies behind it also starts to increase the ridging aloft. So high pressure moves in for Sunday, a very nice day as we move back into the 70s with the heavier precipitation in the central eastern Corn Belt. And we see that ridge even building farther on Monday. Big trough in the western United States with the surface low development in southeastern Colorado generates a little bit of precipitation across the northern Rockies. And we might actually see some isolated thunderstorm activity in the southwestern High Plains region, but we still see that thunderstorm activity over the eastern Corn Belt. Upper air low stays in position in the southeast. The trough comes a little bit closer to us on Tuesday, but high pressure firmly in control of the central plains. Low pressure stacks up over the central Rockies, and that's where we'll see the majority of the precipitation generated during this period as it slowly moves toward the east. On Wednesday, we start to see that trough intensifying over the northern Rockies, and energy will rotate around it. The first piece of energy will bring a surface low into western portions of Kansas as we go into Wednesday morning. And we'll start to see some thunderstorm development there, but the most concentrated area, again, will be across the northern Rockies and western South Western North Dakota. And then Thursday, that upper air low moves into a position in the northeastern portions of Montana. Another surface low de develops down into southwestern Kansas. That may allow enough moisture to feed northward to generate some showers, and scatter showers and thunderstorm activity over central and portions of southeast Nebraska on Thursday. But more importantly, as we go into Friday, we start to see that wave open up somewhat coming across the central plains with low pressure over central portions of the Kansas. That should be enough lift to start to generate some pretty significant thunderstorm activity over the central part of the state. And that will shift eastward during the day. And more importantly, it does look like an active pattern is starting to begin as we see more troughing in the western United States. More importantly, that trough in the western United States will remain in place through next weekend. We see most of the warmth in the eastern United States, cooler in the central and eastern Rockies. And more importantly, that means that with that trough to the west, we increase our precipitation chances with the vast majority of the central United States in above normal tendencies for precipitation. And even a more active pattern looks like it's going to be in shape as we remain for the, for the remainder of the month. So, Troy, overall, we do have a couple shots of precipitation, warmer temperatures ahead, and a very stormy pattern will end the month. So, favorable conditions going forward. 